going for tomorrow night? Yeah, you bring the music, Frankie's bringing the beer. What are you bringing? Uh... Actually, I was gonna bring Nicole. Nicole, your ex, who's engaged to another guy. It's her birthday tomorrow night. She doesn't have any other friends on the island. Are you sure this isn't you hoping that she'll realize she's still in love with you? No, this is what I would do for anybody who is alone on their birthday. Okay. Well, let me give you a little tip, sailor. Fear at a bonfire isn't gonna cut it with her kind. Her kind? Yeah. I don't even think she likes sand. Ah, uh, MJ, you don't know Nicole. Beneath the Prada exterior beats the heart of a regular girl. Yeah? Well, can your regular girl do this? <laughs> Why so early? Hey, I got three weddings and a golf tournament. So are you still swimming a mile every day? I'm up to a mile and a half, actually. That is impressive. Just be careful not to turn all pruney. <laughs> so I guess the use of the pool is one of the perks of living in a suite. Yeah, it's just temporary, though. I mean, once Morgan gets here, we're going to look for a place. Uh -huh. So speaking of turning all pruney, it's your birthday tomorrow. You don't forget anything, do you? <laughs> Some of us are having a bonfire on the beach. Come, I'll help you blow out your candles. Because you know there's going to be a lot of them. <laughs> I was planning to ignore it. Oh, come on. Everybody's going to be there. Who's everybody? MJ, Frankie, Gabriel. Look, I get what you're trying to do, and it's really sweet. But those guys aren't interested in hanging out with me. Well, how else are they going to get to know you? I'll see you at the staff meeting, okay? Take the batons up to the suite, but leave the Birkin with me. I'm going straight to the beach. Ava? <gasps> Nicolicious! <gasps> oh my god! What are you doing here? Oh, uh, hello. What's tomorrow? I haven't missed one of your birthdays in like a decade. Oh yeah, that Nicole, she's a regular girl, all right. That who I think it is? Yeah, that's Ava Latisse, the celeb Deb. <laughs> oh, hey, you know what would be great? An umbrella drink, anything with rum, awesome. Thanks. Thanks, MJ. No problem. You really came all this way for my birthday? Anything for you, girl. And since you left the party, I brought the party to you. Mm -hmm. What? Okay, weary travelers, you can come in now. No way! No way! Yay, birthday girl! <laughs> you are so skinny, I hate you. Shut up, come here! <laughs> oh my god. Ava, how did you pull this off? I borrowed daddy's plane. <laughs> oh, thank you, sweetheart. Oh. You're the best. I heard she makes Paris Hilton look like a Girl Scout. Hello, Ava. Oh, you remember Jason from Maui. How could I forget? The cabana boy. Right. Actually, he was a concierge, but um, now he's the general manager here at the Grand Waimea. Mm, upwardly mobile. I like that. <laughs> this is Carter. Hey, Carter. And Christy. Christy. And everybody. Well, hello, everybody. Can you believe they all came to surprise me for my birthday? It's, everyone should have such good friends. Oh, it's sweet. Yeah. Uh, please have some drinks, compliments of the hotel, and I'm gonna try to find everybody a room. Oh, hey, if you're overbooked, I can always bunk in with you. <laughs> it's an offer. <laughs> Still got a nice ass. Uh. Now I know why you came back to Hawaii. What are you talking about? I had no idea he even worked here. Oh, of all the hotels in all the world, you just happened to walk into his. We're just friends now. Mm -hmm. Well, you're pretty nuts about him. No one last fling before the drop dead? I don't think my fiance would approve. I invited him, you know. He was busy with meetings. He said he'd make it up to you. I see Harry Winston in your future. <laughs> so 
So, you really done with Jason? Yeah, it's been over for a long time. Well, if you don't want it, can I have it? Ava Latiz wants to throw one of her famous blows at my hotel. And you suggest giving the business away to a competitor? Remind me again why I hired you. Vincent, you know, our facilities are max. We've got three weddings. We have, you know, the golf tournaments here, the Kintour retreat. Yeah, what's this really about? Look, don't get me wrong. I love my friends, especially Ava, all right? And she loves me. But sometimes her way of expressing it can be a little over the top. And you're embarrassed. I just want the staff here to like me and to take me seriously. And I want you to take me seriously. And you don't think I'll be able to do that if you're hanging from a chandelier in a ball gown with Abel Latisse? Something like that. I respect the way you feel, Nicole. But one of the reasons I brought you here is because you grew up breathing the same verified air as a lot of our clientele. I expect you to know how to keep them happy. Fine. Do I have to throw my own party? You're right. I'll get someone else. I've got a lot on my plate right now, Vincent. Maybe we should job in an event coordinator. I don't want to farm this out. These people specialize in disposable income. I want it disposed of here. A and I get that, but I'm supposed to be working with Nicole and not for her. I'm sorry if this is awkward for you, Jason, but I don't have anybody else I can trust to pull this off in less than 24 hours. Well, then, I guess I'm your man. You can just keep them coming, okay, Doc? Sure thing. What about you, Nick? Little eye opener? Oh, um, maybe just a pineapple juice? Yes, ma'am. No problem. Right away. That one's got a little toed. Yeah. I don't think she likes me very much. Who cares what the hell thinks? The heiress wants a glass of pineapple juice. She stopped drinking? No, the other heiress. <laughs> Frankie. Hello. Hey, come on before Nicole has me fired. Sorry. I was just wondering how Ava keeps that rocking little body pounding Mai Tais for breakfast. Easy. Finger sandwiches for lunch. <laughs> hey, let's go to the spa. Just the two of us talk about boys. God, I would love to. I gotta go back to work, though. Hey, your job is guest relations. And I'm a guest, so keep relating. Who's up for nude volleyball? Let's go! You go, girl! <laughs> oh, I forgot how much fun Carter is. You forgot a lot of things, sweetie. But it's okay. Mama's here. Of course, Mr. O'Shea. I'll have it delivered to your suite right away. The Dolphin K at 8 o'clock. I have you confirmed on the lanai. And remember to tell them Tessa sent you. Dolphin K, that's a tough table. I'm impressed. Morning, Mr. Colville. Please, it's Vincent. <laughs> okay, Vincent. Sounds like you have this island wired already. Uh, it's a pretty big rock. Well, I'm pretty sure you'll cut it down to size. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Vincent. Can I help you? Ah, oh, this is a little embarrassing, but I couldn't help noticing that man you were talking to. He's very sexy. Do you know if he's here alone? Not exactly. He owns the hotel. Really? Vincent, as your attorney, I have to ask, why in the world would you hire Nicole Booth? David, you broke my concentration. I'm taking a mulligan. About the only guy in the world I know who'd take a molly when you're uh, four feet from the cup. I own the course. Yeah. Look, ever since we got four Michelin stars, every luxury hotel chain in the country has been trying to add us to their portfolio. 
Walter Booth is the worst of them. I don't discriminate on the basis of race, creed, or having a rat bag father. How do you know she's not going to go rifling through your drawers for dirt? And we both know there's dirt. I better ask that lifeguard where it's safe to swim. Sweetie, you're fishing with the wrong bait. Carter, let me break this to you gently. Despite your overactive fantasy life, not every beautiful boy in the world plays for your team. Yeah? Well, no straight guy spends that much time on his abs. That's a universal truth. Care to put your money where your mouth is? Hmm. Hi. Hi. So, <clears throat> what do you do for fun around here? I mean, when you're not giving mouth to mouth. I surf mostly. Hmm. What about when you want to get your swerve on? You do the circuit? <laughs> Can't really afford a gym membership. <laughs> wow. You do that well. What? The whistle. Hey, uh, look, man, I don't, I don't really uh, go there. You know? Dude, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm, the closet is such a lonely place for a young boy. Oh, please. I've got this bet one. Not unless you can close the deal, darling. Sorry about this. Oh, no need to apologize. I've always wanted to be your personal party planner. Jason, I didn't even want a party. <laughs> That's right. Because I remember the year we were together, you had like six parties. Mardi Gras was shorter. Well... I'm not that girl anymore. No, the new you would prefer something a lot more low-key, like bonfire on a beach, say. They just showed up, okay? Let me ask you something, Nicole. Was it that you didn't think my friends wanted to hang out with you on your birthday? Or was it that they didn't make the guest list? Hey, Ava, it's Jason Matthews. Are you decent? No, but don't let that stop you. Ava, Jason's gonna be handling the party from now on. I'll take care of all the details, but I just thought maybe you had something specific in mind. We need a theme. I was thinking Clash of the Islands. Manhattan invades Maui. Ava, this is Oahu. Mm, potato, potato. I think Jason gets the idea. Ah, uh, I have my marching order. So, ladies, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> what the hell was that? What? You said you were over him. Well, I am, but I thought you were kidding about hooking up with him. I didn't get all jealous when you started dating Morgan. That was different. You got drunk and made out with him at a frat party. So? So you two were never serious. Like you and Jason. Oh, honey, you still love him. No, I don't. I love Morgan. But the thought of you and Jason together just... Makes you feel kind of achy. I love you. I'm really glad that you came to see me for my birthday. I wouldn't miss it for all the cabana boys in the world. <laughs> Vincent, you got a minute? Sure, what can I do for you? I've got this guest, a very attractive woman. She's asked me to arrange a private dinner in her bungalow. Well, you're already scoring tables at the Dolphin K. I don't think that should be a problem for you. Well, like my grandpa used to say, the devil's in the details. What's she asking for? Two ribeyes, medium rare, a bottle of 82 Lynch Bosch, and you. I know it's not exactly part of the job description for me to be pimping for the boss. Sorry, poor choice of words. <laughs> I really need to work on that. Anyway, 
I know it's your policy to please the guests. So I thought you'd want me to at least bring it to your attention. Tell the lady it'll be my pleasure. Wow. You really do go all out for your guests. <laughs> you don't waste time. The front desk uh, said you asked for me. What can I do for you? There's a creature in my room. It's disgusting. It's a chameleon. How'd it get in here? We're six floors up. Well, it's got these little grabbers. Do they bite? Mm. It's more like a nibble. Nibbling's good. I like nibbling. I, uh... I've, I've got a very important party to throw for a very important guest. But it's okay. I got permission. Permission? From Nicole. Permission from Nicole. doesn't bother Nicole, and Elizabeth doesn't mind. There's like a, um, a lizard in her room. I bet. to be very native. What a dive. I love it. Is no place sacred? I'm getting a drink. There's our boy. I hope you brought your wallet. Hey, anybody sitting here? No, go ahead. I'm Christy. I think you met my friend Carter. Hey, uh, this is Frankie. How's it? How's it? Is that like the local patois? Hey, can you teach me more? <laughs> uh, please ignore my culturally challenged friend. Carter tells me you're a surfer. Yeah, Gabe's turning pro. Wow. I wish someone would teach me to surf. Well, I'm off tomorrow if you're interested. Oh, hey, I want to learn how to surf, too. What time do we start waxing our boards? Hey, you made it. Yeah, yeah, I got your message about the bonfire. <laughs> Are we making s'mores? <laughs> so it's not too weird asking you to hang out two nights in a row? No, no, it's great, actually. Oh, hi. Hi. Do you guys make mojitos? Excuse me? Because we could use like five pitchers of mojitos at that table over there. I don't work here. Are you a waitress? Yeah, at the hotel. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought. What? That I just follow you around, awaiting your instructions? OK. Sensitive.
Mr. Colville. You really should have gone to all this trouble. It's good to see you, Maya. Hey. Mm. Hey, you missed all the fun. The simple life cleared out like an hour ago. They kidnapped Gabe. Uh oh. Something about going to a club and getting their swerve on. Must be a rich person code for slumming with the help. Speaking of help, uh, I'm gonna need you two to help work Nicole's birthday party tomorrow night. <laughs> what about the bonfire? I'm sorry, I know. It's Vincent told me to grant Ava's every request, and apparently you guys made a pretty good impression on her because she specifically asked for the hottie with the dreads and the sassy blonde. She did not call me sassy. Sassy's good. I like sassy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just so we're clear. This morning, you asked Nicole to celebrate her birthday with us, and now you're ordering us to work her party. Yes. Don't think that I don't see the irony in it. I am the last person that wants to be working Nicole's birthday party. So, uh, back when you two were dating, did Nicole used to ask you to uh, pick up her dry cleaning and walk her little poodle too? Hey, go get me a beer. <laughs> you asleep? No, just listening to you breathe. No, oh, it's nice to know. I still have my membership privileges. It's a very exclusive club. Mm. You gonna let that Tessa girl join? Excuse me? Well, it wouldn't be the first time you took on a promising young protege. <laughs> <laughs> you really rattled her with that mystery woman routine. Ah, oh, something tells me that one doesn't get rattled too easy. So, my only other rival is still the ravishing Mrs. Colville. She isn't going anywhere. Well, she is 200 acres of oceanfront real estate and assorted buildings. You're the one who won't go anywhere, Vincent. I know where I belong. That's all. What if... What if I said I'm not leaving this time? I'd say you were kidding yourself. Where'd you fly in from, anyway? Jakarta. I'm designing a $100 million office complex for Indonesia Trust. I really think it's some of my best work. And you'd leave all of that for a life of sand and surf and listening to me breathe? I just... I just wish we had more time. I must not waste any more time talking. Isn't it a little bit early for this? The ways won't wait for your hangover to go away. Oh. Come on, Carter. Show them what kind of man you are. Oh, honey, you know what kind of man I am. All right, this is what you want to do. You want to go straight to your feet, OK? Not your knees. And then you want to keep your center of gravity low. You give me my ass? Sure. Whatever, just uh, keep it low. OK, here we go. Alright, All right, start the paddle. Oh, God. Paddle, paddle. Come on, Carter. Stand up. Woo! Uh, 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 I'm up. I'm up. Ah! Thank you, <laughs> I'm so glad that you enjoyed your stay, Mrs. Levitt. If you'd like to reserve next year's vacation now, I can arrange for a preferred guest upgrade. Oh, thank you. I'm very sorry if you'll excuse me for one minute. Rebecca, could you take care of Mrs. Levitt, please? Ava! You can't drive with that. Mm, true. Oh, come on, Ava. I'm fine. Go play hotel. No, can you please help me? 
She's sleeping it off. Look, I'm so sorry about MJ. Are you sure she's all right? Uh, you know, considering your friend almost turned to roadkill, yeah. <sighs> Ava's offered to pay for the damage. That is magnanimous of her. Vincent, I think that we need to consider canceling the party. What, first her and now you? What is this, some kind of alternate universe where I'm in the turning down money business? This is an Ava Latisse party. She's notorious for being wild. The press is going to be covering it. If anything goes wrong, it, it could reflect poorly on the Grand Wine Man. Jason's right. No. Once the rest of the jet set read that Ava Latisse blew off some steam at the Grand Waimea, they're going to want to do the same. Just make sure Ava doesn't get out of control tonight. It's great. Now I'm on Ava patrol. I didn't hear you complaining when you were coming out of your suite. Hey, isn't that what cabana boys do? Service rich ladies? That was Ava talking, not me. I'm sorry, I get you two mixed up. Jason. No, oh, hey, I am flattered that our time together was so meaningful that you'd actually recommend me to a friend. What are you talking about? She said you gave her the green light. She told you that? Yeah. Yeah, you know the thing about Ava? As messed up as she is, at least she doesn't pretend to be somebody that she's not. Hey. Not that I care who you sleep with, but for the record, I didn't give anybody the green light. It's under your skin. Oh, well, maybe I'll stay for a few months. I saw some fantastic houses to rent when I drove through Diamond Head. You could do that. Just rent a house. Maybe I'll buy one. <laughs> they have like a job to go back to or a boyfriend? Hey, I'm going to this huge party tonight. Wanna come? Hey, Frankie! One of your famous protein smoothies and an iced tea with lemon and mint for the lady. So it's going good. No, I, I'm really digging her. Not just because she's smoking either. Uh huh. No, seriously, she's like this free spirit. She's talking about chucking everything and staying. I'll put it on her tab. I got it. You working stiff, she rich guest. I can afford an iced tea, Frankie. You know that chick's a party girl, right? You say that like it's a bad thing? <laughs> Room service. Oh, I didn't order any scrambled eggs. Extra greasy. And bacon. Like half a pig. Mmm. <laughs> oh, nobody knows how to cure a pounder like you. Oh. <sighs> Yeah. Um, Ava, um, you need help. That's what I have you for. No, I mean like rehab help. Huh. Hey, perfect. Hmm? All our friends are here. When we call them up, we can have an intervention. I am serious, Ava. You're out of control. Look at you, you drink all day, you jump my ex-boyfriend, you almost killed MJ. Is that what this is about? Jason? No, that's not what this is about. But you know what, while we're on the subject, I thought that we agreed that he was hands off. Well then you'll be happy to know that I didn't jump him. 
Okay, I did. He's an incredible kisser. I can see why you were so into him. I don't need all the details. Yeah, you do. Because we were just about to get busy and he suddenly stops and says, you know what? I'm not anybody's cabana boy. And just walks out. I couldn't uncurl my toes for like an hour. You ask me, he's still in love with you. You know, we were talking about rehab. Right, rehab. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I'm like 12 steps ahead of you. That was a joke. There's this place in New Canaan. I'm checking in next week. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, you've been kind of busy lately with your job and your fiance. You went and grew up on me, Nicolicious. But I'm still me. And I'm still here for you. You mean that? Yeah. Because if I'm gonna do this, then I need tonight to be like, like the old days. You know, Nikki and Ava. One last rager for the glam goddesses of Gotham. God, I don't know if that's a good idea. Please, Nikki. For me. Telling me. Gabriel! My man, you clean up nice. Who knew they sold Barbados to Nanalulu? You shouldn't be in here. What, are you gonna tell on me? What, excuse me, miss. Are you a waitress again? Because I could use a refill. I think you've had enough. Wait, hey. Get your hands off me. Wait, hey, don't look away from me. Oh. MJ! Oh. I want this bitch fired now! Are you okay? What happened? This waitress person punched me in the face. MJ, is this true? I saw the whole thing. And? I'm sorry, Vincent. It was really nice working for you. MJ, wait. The truth is that Ava's very drunk. She tripped and fell, and MJ was just trying to help her up. Nicole! 
sorry, Ava. I'm just not gonna cover for you anymore. I don't believe this. Ah, uh, come on, Ava. The party's still going and we haven't danced once. Uh, you know, this is gonna be a very cute shiner. Too bad you're not available. I don't know what really happened here, MJ, but you're having a call to thank for your job. Maybe you should take the rest of the night off. taking us all to his villa in Positano, and I guess I'm paying for your ticket. Cha-ching! Cha-ching! Mm. You want to tell me what's going on here? You just won me a plane ticket. <laughs> Doesn't mean it wasn't hot. You might want to get that suit pressed. Sorry I'm so late. Small problem with the guest. Maya? She got called back to Jakarta. Work emergency. She asked me to tell you how sorry she was and to remind you to renew her membership for next year. What did she mean by that? Let's get something straight, Tessa. I don't like my employees poking into my personal life then you're not going to be happy about this. I had Maya checked out. You did what? A woman like that asking a lot of questions about my rich, powerful boss. I started thinking, maybe she's a gold digger. So you were just looking out for me? I found out she used to work here, and apparently you two were quite an item. Why did it end? Sorry, I'm crossing the line. Hold on, Tessa. The Grand Wyme is its own little world. Maya decided it wasn't big enough for her. So she marries a billionaire industrialist who flies her around the globe to do interior designing on his buildings. He gives her what I can't. Apparently not everything. It's funny, though. What's that? If it were me, I never would have left. Good night, boss. Sorry I lied, but MJ was gonna lose her job. That's okay. I'm over it. That's sexy. <laughs> Signorine! Oh, ciao, Piero! <gasps> Did I tell you? We're all gonna spend the month at Piero's villa in Positano. Why don't you join us? Bella. You know what? Can you just excuse us for a minute, please? Ava, mm. what about New Canaan? Oh, Connecticut is so boring. Where are you going? I love you, Ava. If you need me, give me a call, okay? Oh. Come with us to Positano. You don't 
how long we have. You're right, I don't. I warned you, man. You try to fit in where you don't belong, you end up getting burned. Mm. Yeah. Of course, I did hook up with an incredibly hot chick. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And I get to keep the suit. Ah. That's a nice suit at that. At least you got something. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey, you want a beer? Sure. By the way, happy birthday. Thanks. God, I love sand. Yeah. Uh -oh. I, you know what? I, 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 I,